So how's it guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the Godox Move Link 2 M2. Um, this is an awesome new microphone set from Godox that you are listening to right now, clipped into this uh, lavalier microphone, which we'll get into the details of in a bit. Um, for the last two, three years, from whenever the Godox Wireless Go was released, uh, not the Godox, the Rode Wireless Go, sorry, was released, I've been using that microphone. Um, I've been fairly satisfied with it, but I've always felt like I needed a second transmitter, um, whether it's to catch a, capture um, ambient sounds or to mic two people up individually. I've often used a separate mic with a separate system and then in post this is extra work. So I was on the lookout for a dual transmitter single receiver setup and as luck would have it, Godox made one. They wrote to me, they asked if I wanted to review it and I said hell to the year. Um, so here we are today taking a look at it. The road had a fair few flaws that uh, I didn't like. Audio transmission, everything great but just some, some design flaws that we'll get into that I found to be really bad and cumbersome and to slowly get worse after owning it for a few years. And although I've only had this one for six weeks, it's just been around Sri Lanka with me, hence the lovely tan. I did a bunch of interviews with it and uh, yeah, super, super happy with this. So let's take a closer look at it. So we have now switched up to a different microphone. I'm using my Boya PM700. Uh, windscreens, as you can see, have this little hole at the top to line up with the microphone side to make sure you get it on the right way. Twice the size, three times the size of the Rode um, wind windscreens and they actually stay on, unlike the Rode ones. Pretty nice unboxing experience. Um, everything's nicely packaged. All the accessories are chucked into this box. First out, three USB-C cables. Nice they include three. I mean, I've got so many USB-C cables, I don't know what to do with them, but yeah, you can never have enough. This is the lavalier microphone, which is actually very nicely built. Good audio, but very nicely built as well. Nice little cable tie on it, and it's very nice, flexible um, silicon cable. Now, TRS cable, standard job. This was included with the Rode microphones. And a TRRS cable for linking into a three-way multi-jack, like a mobile phone or a laptop. This was definitely not included with the road, and I had to buy it separately for 15 euros, which I think is quite expensive. Second lavalier microphone. And of course, a tiny little lanyard and an instruction manual that nobody will ever read. So here's the uh, charging box. Pretty nice ABS plastic. Uh, mine's got a few scratches on it. It's been around in a backpack for four weeks in Sri Lanka, so. But nice to know that the, uh, the microphones inside stayed protected and had no problems. The box also has no problems. Just letting you know why it looks a little bit used. It magnets closed and uh, it flips open pretty easy. I keep the receiver on the left and the two transmitters on the right. So here's the first receiver with the line out and the headphone out for monitoring. And the other two are identical. I will add that is a dog hair on the screen of the one I'm holding now, not a scratch. Magnets hold pretty good. If you bang this, they will fall out, but they definitely hold in nicely when the lid's open and it just snaps down. So let's go over a few of the things that I did not like about the Rode. The first thing was the buttons. They sucked. The power button got worse and worse and worse. They're these rubber sort of gummy soft buttons and I had to dig my fingernail in there so bloody hard all the time to get it to turn off or on. Uh, often I think I turned it off between locations. I get to the next location and it had been on the entire time and was almost flat. It charges pretty quick but I then had to delay the, 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 the job I was on, the talent, because I had to charge the microphones. This was a really pointless um, problem to have with it why not just put a better button on it? Like from all the things you can cut corners on, having it turn on and off properly is the simplest thing to get right. Uh, second one was there was no monitoring from the receiver itself. I had to monitor through the camera. It's not always a problem, but it's nice that you can hear exactly what the microphone is picking up. A uh, load of other things, like they didn't come with any extra cables, didn't come with um, lavalier or lapel microphones. 
there was a bunch of stuff missing that this comes with. This comes with literally everything you need to do the job. Um, we've got extra cables, we've got three USB cables. The best bit, it comes in a charging case. Unfortunately, the case itself doesn't actually have a battery, so it won't charge like a set of earbuds, um, for example. But you can put in one USB-C cable into the case and it will charge the transmitter, the two transmitters and the single receiver all at the same time pretty quickly. So some extra cool stuff that this is, we're still rolling, we're still rolling. Some extra cool features that this has is the ability to, um, to record mono and stereo between the two receivers. So you can combine them both into one channel and record as mono, or you can record them as left and right as stereo. Uh, this is really cool. I'm not sure if the new Rode with two transmitters uh, does this, but this definitely does. Um, we've got digital noise reduction function, which I will turn on right now. I mean, I'm upstairs in my room. There is pretty windy outside, but I don't think we're gonna really notice too much of a difference, but it is now currently off. So we're now gonna switch it. I'll stop talking and we'll switch it. Or was it off? Fuck. Anyway, this is now with digital noise reduction. You probably hear my voice sound somewhat synthetic, um, sort of modified a little bit. I haven't actually used this function yet because I normally like to have the ambient sounds when I'm doing interviews. Now we'll turn it off. Now it's off. I'm interested to actually hear what that sounds like. Um, so as we said, it comes with a lapel, a lapel microphone, which I've got just clipped up here on my second t-shirt. It's winter, it's cold, you need two t-shirts. And a cable that is long enough to come out of the bottom of my, my t-shirt and still extend to arm's length. Um, some people saying the cable's a bit short. I can't understand why you would want to have a longer cable. It's just something else that's going to get tangled and messed up and yeah, stuck, clipped onto something and pulled off. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have a screw connector on top, but for a 210 euro set, I think, we'll let that slide. And the, the connection in there is very positive. Um, so now we're going to switch up from the uh, lapel microphone to this directly. So I'm going to cut the audio because it's going to scratch around a little bit. We're going to unplug it, sort of hang it down here on the outside. So now you can hear the difference between the lapel microphone that is plugged in and the regular microphone that is built into the, um, to the, to the transmitter itself. Clip this back into my pocket. Awesome. And you have two of these. Uh, some other cool features they have. Um, they've got mag magnets on the back of the clip. Um, so you can then pop this onto a lamppost, onto the side of a uh, light stand. Anything that's magnetic, you can clip this to. So instead of me waffling on about specifications and frequencies and stuff, we're just going to put the information on the screen now. Uh, this is direct from Godox's website. You can find this information yourself. Um, there's not really much that I need to go through about it. We've got 100 meters range. We've got 2.4 gigahertz transmission, omnidirectional. Uh, they weigh 27 grams. Uh, signal to noise ratio of 70 dB and frequency 50 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Uh, battery life is rated eight hours on this. I never got to a flat battery um, because of the convenience of the charging case. When you're moving from one location to another, like I said, I was doing a little documentary in Sri Lanka. I take the microphones off the, off, the, off the interviewee, off the camera, the receiver, batch, batch, in the box, close it. I just plug it in. I've got a power bank with me. I plug it in. I ride on my tuk-tuk to, uh, to the next site for the next interview, take it out. It's fully charged. Uh, I never got to that. So I can't comment how long the battery lasted. Another thing, Rode, you listen to me. You've got this little clip with two little tiny teeth that like holds into the top of the microphone. What a shit design. Like who thought that that was a good way to hold the, the dead cat, the windscreen onto a microphone? Godox nailed it. Check this out. But make sure it's the right way. So you've got the hole in the, um, in the dead cat lined up with the microphone on the transmitter. Ah, okay, I did get it off, but that was really, really pulling it. Fantastic. Go dogs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything I recorded in Sri Lanka had no problems with it. I had no, none of the dead cat falling off. The dead cat actually is way more effective than Rose as well for a start. Um, never had lost transmission. I never didn't turn it off and it went flat. I never didn't turn it on because the button didn't work properly. Um, it just worked. And for me, that's the most important thing for a product is that it works. It can have all the bells and whistles and all the bullshit and hype about it that it wants. All I want the microphone to do is to turn on and transmit a signal of clean audio to the camera. And this does that very, very well. 
plus all the cool features like charging case box, loads of cables, USB, amazing windshields. Um, yeah, top, top microphone, super happy with it. I hope you're enjoying the new format of today's video. I am recording on my, uh, my Zcam S6, of course, and we're recording in ProRes. LT, I think, because I'm in 5K, 4 to 3 on a anamorphic setup. As you can see, mega bocalicious, super beautiful widescreen. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you in the next one.